have done it with painting, but somehow we have been inventory, the photography is a thing. Now why I'm saying all this is because when I look at Ming Fu, he is a kind of visionary. His photography is about insects. I did a series of insects, yeah. He told me that he will wait for hours, like Adam will wait for hours for the right ground to move. He will wait for hours to get the insect, the secrets of the insect that normally we don't see. It. But what amazed me as a fellow artist is that he only not capture the insect and the happy, but he always capture it in a beautiful photograph with a play of beautiful light. So that's fantastic. Thank you. Now I must turn to look. Uh, I'm just, I'm just sharing. I haven't really looked very hard. I must say that when I was a lot younger, I was a teacher and I used to teach in a Teobaru school. So I know the area very well. And that has something to do with what I'm saying. But let me just share a few thoughts with an artist. First about line. He was in London where the very good teachers who always make us realize don't understand just the line. You know how students are, and even artists, they want color, they want big canvas, they want lots of things, they want acrylic doing the watercolor, and oil, and all that. But what can you do with a single line? That's what they do. Then the teacher managed to illustrate that in the right hands, he can do a lot of things. The first and most obvious thing is all artists know is if you draw with line, you are doing something very direct. You are all you are one. Uh, I used to you know in the art school, they, we used to learn how to lay out all the colors and buy pen brushes and when you have a thick stroke, this and that. Later on, I found that it's all nonsense. I found that great artists and only when the light passed through, you want to capture that light, you know. By the time you lay out the colors, the light has gone. <laughs> so it's really not practical. <laughs> then I wonder why the teacher taught it. Then they thought I was uh, myself, taught Sangma, and then I realized, well, it's for the lesson. Otherwise, what do you do in the class? <laughs> so, anyway, so do I read the line. It's very direct and impulsive, and therefore, you come, you bring up qualities that are more elaborate. Uh, medium can't get, but they get other things. Huh? Now another thing I should share with you is the fact that drawing with the line, a Chinese painting, just painting with ink, you know, is very limited. You know? So when you first do it, you are very frustrated. What can I do with just a line? But then later on you learn through reading and sharing and all that. That the great artist will take that as a challenge. The great ink painter will say, yeah, I have only ink. Okay, let me quickly say uh, about how they discovered finger painting. Uh, I was told uh, by Chen Wen-Chi, don't know whether it's true. He said, you got to paint finger painting. He said, this finger painting artist, a great artist in China, I don't know how many years ago. Suddenly, in the middle of a light, he had a good idea. You know? Sometimes it happens, even to architect or what. Then he was a true artist. He quickly woke up and then looked for his brush. But he couldn't find his brush. The paper is there, the ink is there. But he can't let this idea go away. You know? By morning, the idea won't be there. And then, so he quickly used the finger. So one finally illustrated this. To the great artist, it can be a challenge. Instead of the limitation being a disadvantage, you can be told by a scientist, and it's really scientists who work. You see, when I do scientific work, sometimes I've got very limited resources. Instead of being discouraged, I take it as a challenge. And sometimes, if you have talent, you bring up fantastic things that otherwise wouldn't have happened. Okay, I could quickly went to example. As our student, it's well known and knowledge that way back Rembrandt, among other things, uh, did a series 
or blind or mind you he's doing uh, just a fine line you're print making the fine line etching etching meaning you just use the point and worse than that you can't make mistake because it's done on the plate then they don't have point is not entirely true the clever artist when he make a mistake he will then manipulate it and then get wrong it but in a way you can't you can't make real mistake but he did a fantastic series of masterpieces about the two people they very well known it. another example I must quote and I quoted it once in writing and it was very well taken and now we're talking about the line I say Picasso once drew uh, the blue fight but Picasso is Spanish all the Spanish they all go to the blue fight the blue fight they're very close to them then you can imagine the, the blue fight is all the time moving but with the single line Picasso eventually capture the whole atmosphere and capture his strong feeling about the, his reaction about the blue fight so you see under great artists a single line can do so much okay now the second thing about now we are talking when I talk about line I'm talking about you too that's it the second thing I find I every I, I walk around is that Ming Fu is a very daring artist when I look around, I don't see the usual techniques, the usual approach that many artists use because they are trained and they are good in technique. But to be different from others, that's very difficult. But his drawing are obviously very different from others. You see, the composition is very unusual. The perspective is very unusual. His perspective in among artists, among artist teachers anyway, the perspective would be said to be all wrong. <laughs> but he has a knack to make it all wrong to get it right. <laughs> For himself, he, because he wanted it that way. He wanted the building to tilt a bit or whatever. So there's such a thing as doing the wrong thing, so-called, not the uh, uh, right. Yeah. Another thing I find, his work is very intimate. It's wonderful. But many artists paint themselves, and although they may look intimate, but after a while, uh, somehow they cool off. You know? But this is very intimate, and you obviously know Tiong Baru very well. I mean, I know Tiong Baru very well until I see your pictures there. <laughs> this, this Tiong Baru, there's so much that I didn't know. The last point is about Tiong Bahru. A lot have been talking about Tiong Bahru, the architect, uh, say they, they, they will preserve it and it's so beautiful and so on. But I think tonight, to his drawing, I see a new Tiong Bahru, a new life of Tiong Bahru. So you should show it to the government people so that they will really preserve it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.